Hey guys, it's Mr Mackay. I'm here to give you your challenge for this week. Very good one. As you know, our multi-ability, so we look at six different areas when we do our PE lessons. And today we are really looking at that creative one, using your creativity. So which items can you use at home? Uh, as you know, they, all of these work when we do our PE, but our real focus today is our creativity and also a bit of our applying our, our physical abilities. So looking at the creative challenge. For that, you're going to create your own version of a really good game that the Prep Fours learnt this week, which is something called Street Racket. Yeah, Street Racket. You don't have to have the equipment. You can use anything at home, different types of balls, uh, tennis rackets if you've got them. But there's three different variations that I'm going to show you, okay? Right, for the tricky level, so your starting level, tricky level, we're not even going to use any rackets. Use a different type of ball which bounces quite well. So we've got like a smallish football here, the plastic ones that bounce really well. So there's pretty good bounce on it, so that's a good one to use. Or I've got these ones that's a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit trickier to catch, but still quite a good bouncy one to make it bounce off the floor. Take a look at this to see how to set up the court and get the first level going. Here we go. Right, we're outside now. I'm um, going to quickly show you how to mark out your street racket court. You can use tape, but chalk works the best. So if you get the street racket set from Amazon, it comes with some chalk in there that you can mark out your court. The, and it also comes with some guidelines on how to mark it out. But essentially, we're looking for this sort of a pattern here. So three boxes of two by two metres. So three boxes that are two by two metres, and we don't play into the middle box. Right, so here you. we go, we've drawn our court on our driveway, so we've just got the first box, which one player will stand in, two by two metres. Then the centre box, which is effectively our net, so we don't play into that box, so that's got a cross from it. And then the final third box, which has got our second player inside. Have a little look at how we play our first game. Are you ready? Right, good. After you've done that first level with a bigger ball, bounce and catch, I'd say you've got to do at least five good ones, maybe ten. Then you can progress to using a racket and a ball. Could be a tennis racket and a tennis ball. You could use your hand and that big bouncy ball that you've just used, whatever you've got, um, to be creative. And we're going to do drop serves or out of the hand serve. Key thing in street racket is we're trying to help our opponent, we're not trying to beat them when we first start learning. So it's going to be a nice, low to high shot. So you're trying to hit it towards your partner, they're going to stop the ball, catch the ball or stop the ball, and then they're going to serve it back to you, just like this. Cool, once you've mastered the serve, then we can do some open play, some rallies. So again, starting with that nice gentle drop serve, hitting the ball in an upward motion, we can start rallying. The key focus on street racket is movement, interplay between people. Obviously we've got no net, we're not looking to smash the ball down or volley the ball without bouncing. We want the ball to bounce and we want lots of movement with long rallies, yeah? We don't want stop, start, stop, start, having to go and collect the ball. Yeah, really good for any age. Lots of small foot movements as we move around, we play our shots, yeah? Interacting with each other, lots of fun. Watch this last clip for some open play. Well, if we go back to the graphic on the game versions, what we've just been playing is this one here, one against one. 
We're marking out the court on the floor. You can play individually or in pairs against the wall, almost like a squash version. Um, if you've got more than one player, we can do uh, around the world. We can do two against two, across like that, or we can play around by drawing extra boxes. With three people, obviously you could just draw three boxes. There's lots of different variations. And again, like showing here, we can do four boxes to give you more options to play with twos. There we go. Enjoy. Right, thanks for watching, guys. I really want to hear how you get on this week. So comment below to let me know how many shots you can do in your rally. Yeah, if you head to Amazon, you can buy the street racket sets, which are really good. Bats are nice and easy to use. Big surface area to hit the ball. Good, the sponge balls are nice and soft, a really good bounce. You don't have to, but they are a very good thing to, to get because it also gives you the chalk to draw the court out and it shows you how to draw the court um, in a picture. So they are, it's a really good idea to get them, but you don't have to, you can use whatever you've got at home. Like I said, be creative, show me what you've done, comment below, share the video with you, anyone that you think would be interested in it because this is a great game. You can, again, social distancing, you can play with another person. You can speak to mummy and daddy first, but you can play with another person because you're two meters away and you're not sharing any equipment. You don't have to go near anybody. So excellent one to do whilst we're still on lockdown. And be creative, you can use any space you've got. Your patio, the driveway, the path outside your house. Yeah, Even there's floor space indoors if you've got a big enough one. You can put some tape on the floor and mark it out with some tape. Okay, but let me know how you get on and I'll see you soon.